A cure for feline infectious peritonitis, FIP, has recently been found, but there is no veterinary preparation available. The cure costs thousands to treat a single cat, and the cat has to endure 12 weeks of painful injections which can cause weeping sores on the skin. My aim is to prevent FIP, to eradicate feline coronavirus, the virus that causes FIP. The single most effective way to prevent FIP is to prevent a kitten or cat from ever becoming infected with feline coronavirus. This is a summary of today's video. For feline infectious peritonitis to develop, cats must become infected with feline coronavirus. Number two, the virus is shed in the feces and feline coronavirus transmission occurs through sharing litter trays with an infected cat. Three, there is no need to invent an antiviral cat litter. Cat litters which inhibit feline coronavirus already exist. In our study, Dr. Elsie Catatract cat litter was the best litter for reducing feline coronavirus transmission and Everclean clumping was also good. Unfortunately, even the best cat litter cannot wholly prevent coronavirus transmission, but it can reduce virus load in a household or shelter. The best way to prevent coronavirus transmission is still to allow cats outdoors to toilet if possible. Feline coronavirus is passed in the feces. Outdoor cats bury their feces and the virus with it which is why you almost never get coronavirus infection and FIP in feral and stray cats who live outdoors. You're probably wondering what kind of weirdo would creep around after a cat with a camera waiting for the cat to take a dump. But hey, we all need an interest. However, I can't claim credit for this one. It's a real beauty. Indoor cats are forced to use cat litter and the virus can remain viable for up to seven weeks in dried up cat litter. I will place a link in the notes below to a cartoon illustrating how cats become infected with coronavirus by sharing a litter tray or via dust particles from contaminated cat litter. I asked myself the question, can feline coronavirus transmission be prevented at the level of the litter tray? This video presents the findings of the study that we published in the Journal of Feline Medicine and Surgery. In the laboratory, we mixed feline coronavirus with cat litter. We spun out the cat litter and put the supernatant onto cell culture. What you're looking at here is a couple of cell culture plates from our experiment. The cell culture sheet has been stained blue to show up any holes in the culture caused by the virus. We call such holes cytopathic effect, or CPE. Here is a well with no virus. You can see that there are no holes. It has a smooth, even blue layer of stained cells. In this well, there are three holes. Therefore, three virus particles infected the cells and spread out to kill adjoining cells. In this well, the cell culture layer was wiped out by the virus. In this manner, we were able to quantify the virus which had not been inactivated by the cat litter. This technique is called titrating the virus. Some cat litters prevented infection of the cell culture. Therefore, there was no need to develop a cat litter with antivirus activity. They already existed. We tested 15 cat litters using this cell culture technique and the results of our study were presented in Table 1 of our paper. The cat litters are listed from best to worst. The ones which totally inhibited the infection of cell culture, and so the virus titer was zero, are at the top, and the cat litters which made no difference to the virus, i.e. the virus titer was 10 to the power of 6, or a million, the same as the control, are at the bottom. All the other litters are in between. Curiously, cat country varied from being in the best group to being in the worst group, depending on where it was manufactured, so I cannot recommend using that brand. The best fairing litters were Fuller's Earth based, possibly because they bound the virus, physically preventing it from infecting the cells. In other words, they may not have killed the virus, but simply hung on to it. 
An experiment in a laboratory is all very well, but do these cat litters help to reduce feline coronavirus infection of cats in the real world? Two households were willing to test their cats regularly and try different cat litters, so our field trial involved cat train litter by Cruz, Everclean, and two Dr. Elsie cat litters, Catatract and Ultra. We did also follow two other households on world's best cat litter, but the results from those households could not be included in the study because there was no virus transmission. In one case, due to rigorous hygiene and physical separation of a single feline coronavirus carrier cat from uninfected kittens. Catrine, Everclean and Dr. Elsie litters were all Fuller's Earth based. We tried out the Dr. Elsie litters in a blinded crossover trial. Household H used Catrine cat litter and household L used Everclean litter. And then we changed over to the Dr. Elsie litters. Then we changed back and we saw whether there was a difference or not. So what happened? We tested the cats for coronavirus shedding by RT-PCR of rectal swabs at the University of Bari in Italy in the laboratory of Professor Nicola De Caro. Here is a bar chart of the percentage of cats shedding coronavirus in household H on each of the three cat litters tested. Catrine is shown in pale green, Dr. Elsie Catatract is shown in the red bars and Dr. Elsie Ultra in the blue bar. The bars represent the percentage of cats who tested positive for coronavirus at each time point. The month and year of testing are shown on the x-axis. We began with a small study, and when ultra cat litter did not give an encouraging result, we only repeated the trial with catatrack. You can see that there was a jump in the percentage of cats shedding virus on ultra, the blue bar. You can see that the percentage of cats shedding coronavirus reduced when Dr. Elsie Catatract was used, although it appeared that the percentage of virus shedding reduced also on the control litter, cat dream, during July of 2009, at the end of summer. However, the difference between Catatract and Catrine was significantly different using the Fisher Exact Statistical Test. These are the results for household L, once again, you can see that the percentage of cats shedding coronavirus appeared to decrease when the cat litter was changed to Dr. Elsie Catatract, the red bars, although in this household the results were not statistically significant. Bear in mind that in these trials we were using all Fuller's Earth-based cat litters, so we were comparing the best litters. I believe that we would have seen a much bigger difference if the control cat litter had been those with poor results in our laboratory tests. This slide shows you both households together and the effect of introducing Dr. Elsie Catatract cat litter into the two households. We believe that the lack of tracking is also a very important quality to look for in a cat litter, as well as virus inhibitory qualities. The best cat litters to use from our study are Dr. Elsie Catatract and Everclean Clumping in situations where coronavirus is endemic, such as in cat breeders and cat rescue shelters. However, unfortunately, even the best cat litter could not wholly prevent coronavirus transmission. Unless you can find a dog like this, who eats cat poop, or you can train your cat to use the toilet, the best way to prevent coronavirus transmission is to allow your cats outdoors if it is safe to do so. Conclusions There is no need to invent an antiviral cat litter. Controls, cat yeah. litters which inhibit coronavirus already exist. Even the best cat litter cannot wholly prevent coronavirus transmission, but it can reduce virus load in a household, cattery or shelter. The best way to prevent coronavirus transmission is still to allow cats outdoors to toilet. Finally, I would like to offer huge thanks to my co-authors in this study, especially Lien Howe of the Felismere Cat Clinic in Denmark, who took all the rectal swabs, sometimes as many as 50 in a month. And big thanks to the guardians of the household who allowed their cats to be tested. 
A full list of everybody I'm grateful to for help and funding in this study can be found in the notes. Thank you for watching. If you found this video useful, please like it and share it, become a subscriber to this channel and press the notification bell. Please help support the making of further educational videos by donating or becoming a subscriber at catvirus.com. For more information, visit www.catvirus.com. Thank you.